Republic Act No. 9266 also known as the Architecture Act of 2004. RA 9266 is an act providing for a more responsive and comprehensive regulation for the registration, licensing and practice of architecture, repealing for the purpose Republic Act No. 545, as amended, otherwise known as an act to regulate the practice of architecture in the Philippines, and for other purposes. The act was signed into law. March 17, 2004 and became effective, April 10, 2004. The implementing rules and regulations IRR of RA 9266 was published on the official Gazette on November 15, 2004 and took effect last December 1, 2004. Republic Act No. 8981 also known as the Professional Regulation Commission Modernization Act of 2000. RA 8981 is an act modernizing the Professional Regulation Commission, repealing for the purpose Presidential Decree No. 223, entitled Creating the Professional Regulation Commission and Prescribing its Powers and Functions, and for other purposes. Republic Act 876 otherwise known as the Philippine Arbitration Law. No person shall serve as an arbitrator in any proceeding if he has or has had financial, fiduciary, or other interest in the controversy or cause to be decided or in the result of the proceeding, or has any personal bias, which might prejudice the right of any party to a fair and impartial award. Republic Act 8293 otherwise known as the Intellectual Property Code of the Philippines. RA 8293 is an act prescribing the Intellectual Property Code and establishing the Intellectual Property Office, providing for its powers and functions and for other purposes. Republic Act 9514 Otherwise known as the Fire Code of the Philippines. RA 9514 is the policy of the state to ensure public safety, promote economic development through the prevention and suppression of all kinds, of destructive fires, and promote the professionalization of the fire service as a profession toward this end. The state shall enforce all laws, rules, and regulations to ensure adherence to standard fire prevention and safety measures, and promote accountability in the fire protection and the fire service. Republic Act 9263 otherwise known as the Bureau of Fire Protection and Bureau of Jail Management and Penology Professionalization Act of 2004. RA 9263 is the declared policy of the state to maintain peace and order, protect life, liberty, and property, and promote the general welfare essential for the enjoyment by all the people of the blessings of democracy, moreover it recognizes the responsibility of the state to strengthen government capability aimed towards the strengthening of the delivery of basic services to the citizenry though the institutionalization of highly efficient and competent fire and jail services. Republic Act 7277 Otherwise known as the Magna Carta for Disabled Persons Disabled persons are part of Philippine society, Thus the state shall give full support to the improvement of the total well-being of disabled persons and their integration into the mainstream of society. Toward this end, the state shall adopt policies ensuring the rehabilitation, self-development, and self-reliance of disabled persons. It shall develop their skills and potentials to enable them to compete favorably for available opportunities. Republic Act 4726 otherwise known as the Condominium Act. The Condominium Act states that each condominium owner shall have the exclusive right to mortgage, pledge, or encumber his condominium and to have the same appraised independently of the other condominium owner is personal to him. Republic Act 3469 Allowing construction of multi-story tenement housing projects for the poor and homeless. It is hereby declared to be the policy of the government to alleviate the substandard living conditions of the masses. To this end, the government shall provide, wherever practicable, tenement buildings for the poor and the homeless to nominal rental rates, 
consistently with the policy of avoiding concentration of population in densely inhabited areas. Republic Act No. 7279 also known as, Urban Development and Housing Act of 1992. RA 7279 uplift the conditions of the underprivileged and homeless citizens in urban areas and in resettlement areas by making available to them decent housing at affordable cost, basic services, and employment opportunities. Improve the capability of local government units in undertaking urban development and housing programs and projects. Republic Act No. 10587 also known as the Environmental Planning Act of 2013. Also known as Urban and Regional Planning, City Planning, Town and Country Planning, and or Human Settlements Planning, refers to the multidisciplinary art and science of analyzing, specifying, clarifying, harmonizing, managing and regulating the use and development of land and water resources, in relation to their environs, for the development of sustainable communities and ecosystems. Republic Act 6552 Otherwise known as the Realty Installment Buyer Act Also known as the Masada Law RA 6552 is an act that protects property owners from unfavorable terms that may occur from sale transactions funded by an installment agreement by describing the rights of the buyers regarding refund entitlement and grace periods. Republic Act No. 7835 also known as the Comprehensive and Integrated Shelter Financing Act of 1994. RA 7835 is an act providing for a comprehensive and integrated shelter and urban development financing program by increasing and regularizing the yearly appropriation of the major components of the National Shelter Program, including the Avatka Yapabahe Fund under Republic Act No. 6846 augmenting the authorized capital stock and paid-up capital of the National Home Mortgage Finance Corporation NHMFC, and the Home Insurance and Guarantee Corporation HIGC, identifying other sources of funding and appropriating funds for the purposes. Republic Act No. 8763 also known as the Home Guarantee Corporation Act of 2000. RA 8763 is hereby declared the policy of the state to undertake, in cooperation with the private sector, continuing nationwide housing program which will make available at affordable cost decent housing. In recognition of the role of housing as catalyst of economic growth and development, it is hereby declared a statement policy to strengthen, promote, and support the component activities of housing production and finance. Republic Act No. 386 also known as the Civil Code of the Philippines. Any person suffering material or moral loss because a public servant or employee refuses or neglects, without just cause, to perform his official duty may file an action for damages and other relief against the latter, without prejudice to any disciplinary administrative action that may be taken. Republic Act No. 1376 also known as the Code of Sanitation of the Philippines. The objective of this code on the practice of plumbing within the meaning and intent of this act shall embrace services in the form of consultations, designing, preparations of plans, specifications, estimates, erection, installation, and supervision of plumbing work including the inspection and acceptance of materials used therein, extension and alteration of all pipings to fixtures, appliances, appurtenances in connection with any of the following, storm and sanitary drainage, facilities of buildings, the sanitary venting of fixtures, hot or cold water supply systems within or adjacent to any building, storm drains, sewerage system of any premises and or in connection with any public disposal or any acceptable terminal. Republic Act No. 3931 also known as the National Water and Air Pollution Control Commission. It is hereby declared a national policy to maintain reasonable standards of purity for the waters and air of this country with their utilization for domestic, agricultural, industrial, and other legitimate purposes. Republic Act No. 10066 also known as the National Cultural Heritage Act of 2009. This law aims to protect, 
preserve, conserve, and promote the nation's cultural heritage, its property and histories, and the ethnicity of local communities. Republic Act No. 9003 also known as the Ecological Solid Waste Act of 2000. RA 9003 declares the policy of the state in adopting a systematic, comprehensive, and ecological solid waste management program that ensures the protection of public health and the environment and the proper segregation, collection, transport, storage, treatment and disposal of solid waste through the formulation and adoption of best environmental practices. Moreover, it illustrates the potentials and benefits of recycling not only in addressing waste management problems but also in alleviating property. Republic Act 11201 Otherwise known as the Department of Human Settlements and Urban Development Act. The purpose of this act is to ensure that underprivileged and homeless citizens have access to an adequate, safe, secure, habitable, sustainable, resilient and affordable home. The state shall by law and for the common good, undertake, in cooperation with the private sector, a continuing program of housing and urban development which shall make available at affordable cost, decent housing, and basic services to underprivileged and homeless citizens in urban centers and resettlement areas. It shall also promote adequate employment opportunities to such citizens. In the implementation of the program, the state shall respect the rights of small property owners. Presidential Decree 1096 Otherwise known as the National Building Code of the Philippines. The National Building Code is a set of rules and regulations pertaining to the construction of all real estate projects and buildings here in the Philippines. Presidential Decree No. 856 also known as the Code of Sanitation of the Philippines. The objective of this Code on Sanitation is the improvement of the way of the Filipinos by directing public health services towards the protection and promotion of the health of the people. Presidential Decree No. 1067 also known as the Water Code of the Philippines. PD 1067 is a decree providing for the utilization, exploitation, development, conservation, and protection of water resources to be subject to the control and regulation of the government through the NWRC. Presidential Decree No. 984 also known as the Pollution Control Law. PD 984 is a decree to prevent, abate, and control pollution of water, air and land for the more effective utilization of the resources, control area nationwide. Presidential Decree No. 49 also known as the Decree on Intellectual Property. No copy shall subsist in any work of the government of the Philippines. However, prior approval of the government agency or office wherein the work is created shall be necessary for exploitation of such work for profit. Presidential Decree No. 1529 also known as the Property Registration Decree. This presidential decree amends and codifies the laws related to registration of land property. It aims to strengthen the Turin system, adopt safeguards to prevent anomalous titling of real property and streamline and simplify registration proceedings and the issuance of certificates of title. Presidential Decree 957 otherwise known as the Subdivision and Condominium Buyers Protective Decree. The primary purpose of this decree is to protect the buyers of condominium projects and subdivision developments against misrepresentations and fraudulent activities of developers. Presidential Decree 953 Requiring the planting of trees in certain places and penalizing unauthorized cutting and destruction, damaging and injuring of certain trees, plants, and vegetation. Presidential Decree No. 757 Creating the National Housing Authority Pursuant to the mandate of the new constitution, there shall be developed a comprehensive and integrated housing program which shall embrace, among others, housing development and resettlement, sources, and schemes of financing, and delineation of government and private sector participation. 
The program shall specify the priorities and targets in accordance with the Integrated National Human Settlements Plan prepared by the Human Settlements Commission. Presidential Decree No. 442 also known as the Labor Code of the Philippines. The state shall afford protection to labor, promote full employment, ensure equal work opportunities regardless of sex, race, or creed and regulate the relations between workers and employers. The state shall assure the rights of workers to self-organization, collective bargaining, security of tenure, and just and humane conditions of work. Presidential Decree No. 1151 also known as the Philippine Environment Code. It is hereby declared a continuing policy of the state to create, develop, maintain, and improve conditions under which man and nature can thrive in productive and enjoyable harmony with each other. To fulfill the social, economic, and other requirements of present and future generations of Filipinos. And to ensure the attainment of an environmental quality that is conducive to a life of dignity and well-being. Presidential Decree No. 1616 creating the Intramuros administration for the purpose of restoring. This law aims to protect, preserve, conserve, and promote the nation's cultural heritage, its property and histories, and the ethnicity of local communities. Executive Order No. 648, Reorganizing the Human Settlements Rulatory Commission. Pursuant to the mandate of the new constitution, there shall be developed a comprehensive and integrated housing program which shall embrace, among others, housing development and resettlement, sources and schemes of financing, and delineation of government and private sector participation. The program shall specify the priorities and targets in accordance with the Integrated National Human Settlements Plan prepared by the Human Settlements Commission. Executive Order No. 72, the Comprehensive Land Use Plans of Local Government Units pursuant to the Local Government Code of 1991. The CLUP is a planning document prepared by LGUS to rationalize the allocation and proper use of land resources. It projects public and private land uses in accordance with the future spatial organization of economic and social activities. Executive Order 1008 otherwise known as the Construction Industry Arbitration Law. Creating an arbitration machinery in the construction industry of the Philippines. There is hereby declared to be the policy of the state to encourage the early and expeditious settlement of disputes in the Philippine construction industry. Executive Order 90. Otherwise known as the Housing Agencies and Mandates. It shall focus its efforts in providing housing assistance to the lowest 30% of urban income earners through slum upgrading, squatter relocation, development of sites and services and construction of core housing units. Bata Song Pambon Sabila 344 BP 344 is an act to enhance the mobility of disabled persons by requiring certain buildings, institutions, establishments, and public utilities to install facilities and other devices. Bata Song Pam Bonsa Bilong 220 BP 220 is a policy of the government to promote and encourage the development of economic and socialized housing projects primarily by the private sector in order to make available adequate economic and socialized housing units for averaged and low-income earners in urban and rural areas. <laughs>